Why, hello. How in the heck are you guys? <laughs> I hope everyone's doing really good. I'm still sick. I'm still fighting this thing, but I'm feeling a tad bit better today. <clears throat> still coughing, all hung up, comes in waves. It's the funnest thing since sliced pie, and I'm totally, I'm totally kidding. Okay, so it's, it is what it is, right? But we're getting there. We're getting there. It is what it is, but we're getting there. So, uh, what am I even filming today? That's a good question. Um, I just kind of came up here, and I had a bunch of coffee, and now I'm really hyper, and you guys know how that goes. So... <laughs> I want to do a twin flame reading. I know, I know, but I see. I have a star seed reading that I'm gonna be filming soon, and my hands are completely dry and cracked and like bleeding, and it's really gross because I've been washing my hands nonstop because I've had COVID, um, and I don't want my daughter getting it. So, yeah, it's it's just I'm a hot mess, but it's it's great. I, it's just great. <laughs> so we're gonna um pull some cards because if I go one more day without doing a reading I'm gonna just cry that's what's gonna happen I'm just gonna cry because I can't be taken away from my passion for too long or I go insane and I love doing this and I I miss pulling cards and so here we are um this is so awkward why are these cards all falling everywhere oh my god I'm mean, gonna have to put these as bloopers at the end because this is not okay and this is not professional whatsoever. Uh, I said I had to be professional, right? <clears throat> okay. Keep an open mind in the reverse. That one was stuck in there. I think I'll just keep that out. I think a lot of you aren't keeping an open mind. And I don't think it's necessarily our fault, but... I have signs here, I have messages, I actually have three tarot decks, or not tarot, I have three twin flame decks that I have created myself that are on their way to me. I may be selling some of them, I may not be, stay tuned, um, but they're going to be amazing either way to use for my readings, but I think I might be selling at least one or two of them if they turn out the way I like. That's the thing, this is a trial. I want to see, I'm a perfectionist, so I want to see how they turn out, and if they're not to my liking, I'll just keep working on it till I get them that way, and then I'll make them available for purchase once I figure out how to do all that. So, I am rambling so hard, like a, like a freaking hard, what am I saying? I don't even know. Okay. That sounded really dirty. I'm sorry, guys. I need to snap out of it. Oh my god, whoever's watching this is probably like, what the hell is wrong with her? <laughs> oh. Okay, concentrate, Kim. I just learned some a new uh, couple of ways to shuffle cards. <laughs> um, this is how I usually shuff shuffle them, but there's like these other ways that I was watching yesterday. Um, was it yesterday, the day before, teaching people how to shuffle cards, and it was funny? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's this coffee. Guys, I cannot drink Starbucks coffee. Every time I do, it does something to my brain. It literally does something to my brain, and it makes me freaking goofy and freaking crazy and hyper, and it, especially this one. Like, Duncan, yeah, it does it, but Starbucks, like, forget about it. I am, like, I'm... I'm off the chain with Starbucks. <laughs> oh, I'm probably editing all this all out. Or I'm not. I'm just going to keep it in. I don't know. So do you guys see the energies? I'm not entirely sure what is happening. It's kind of like all over the place. And that's... Last night was... <laughs> that was a hot mess last night. <clears throat> Coughing up phlegm laying there like I'm crying like I think I'm gonna die and, oh my god can we get any more dramatic okay let's see here Let's 
channeling into the Twin Flame Collective Energies right now, messages that Divine Feminines and or Divine Masculines have for their people at this time. I'll probably save all that stuff till the end as bloopers. Oh no, we'll see. We'll see how it goes down in the heezy. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys are asking yourselves that question. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh. That was a weird card. I thought something else was going on here in this this situation. I was like, what's happening? <clears throat> okay. Calm and collected. You know what? Let's move these over so you guys can see them. Oh my god. This is heavily gonna have to be edited. This is why I don't just put like raw videos out there because what the frick is going on? <laughs> okay, let's pull a few romance angels to clarify these. Children. Your love life is being affected by children right now. You guys wanna get nasty, but <laughs> there's kids in the way. Love yourself first in the reverse. Yeah, stop being like so like, this woman is like literally devouring his face and like taking over. <laughs> She's like, she, just the way she looks is, it's too much. It's just too much, at least to me, this is too much. So this is a good message though, love yourself first. So you're not like, smothering this person because I feel like this person's just like get off me right look at him he's like yeah you're like beautiful but get off me <laughs> this is too much okay I'm in a really weird mood it's got to be the coffee or the energy is or I don't know what the frick is going on okay we got flirt so it's a good time to flirt true love religious factors make the effort and it's safe for you to love okay <clears throat> look at my magic wand that's what he said no but this is like really awesome <laughs> remember these from when you were a kid I love this thing I'm gonna use it today because I never use it in my readings and I gosh darn it I'm being told to use it okay so we have the ten of what the frick is this the ten of swords yes the ten of swords in the reverse I'm in a really goofy mood today guys do not test me do not just allow it to flow I'm just gonna let it flow through. Okay, 10 of swords in the reverse. What the frick does this mean? What I think this means is this girl, she's like, I wish I had what, I wish I had what they have, but I ain't getting it. And I, I'm, I'm not feeling too hot right now because, um, you know, I got things going on in my mind that I wanna do, but children are in the way, children are a factor, or maybe you wanna come together with this person and, the, the children situation is a factor here for some of you. Okay, not for all of you. Take what resonates. This is a general reading. So take what resonates and let go of what doesn't. But children could be a factor here. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so you guys want to get like freaky deaky, but you can't because there's kids. Um, <laughs> or you want to be with this person, but you have children. And then you're just like, oh my gosh, like what am I doing? Okay, so we have five of... Uh, pentacles in the reverse and you know we kind of went over this where the girl's like basically smothering him and he's like get off me what are you doing <laughs> it's like when you have one of those people that's just like obsessed with you and like smothering you and you're just like get away from me I can't deal it's like that okay and so this is asking you to love yourself first since this is in the reverse it's asking you to love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay so make sure you're focusing on you and not so much on on this this freaky deaky couple over here because you gotta focus on you first right now this is important but it's okay to flirt still so we have the eight of swords and <clears throat> this is definitely like a third party situation this could have been somebody finding out about the relationship or, or it doesn't have to be um this could also just be someone that's very envious of the connection that's trying to uh sabotage it um this could also be uh what am i getting from this i want to read this one let's read this one because 
This only has upright meanings, but I just want to see the Eight of Swords in reverse because these have different meanings here. <sighs> Scratching the magic of the green cloth. Okay, so green frees sensuality and allows the body to guide the spirit before the mind can guide the body. You cannot teach the flesh if it is not willing to learn from you. So I feel like a lot of you are having this like sexual frustration, frustration, sexual frustration and sexual desires that are taking over and it's like literally taking over your mind and you can't get your mind in order because all you can think about is this and that's why it's in the reverse. And yeah, it's okay to flirt right now because you need to release some of this um and also like you need to raise your vibration because when you're stuck in this like energy where like your body's literally taking over your mind <clears throat> it isn't like balanced or healthy for anyone so get your mind in check um but extend your lighthearted energy so like it, it's okay to flirt right now it's okay to release like some of this tension going on right now but um and make sure you're not smothering the person either and make sure you're focusing still on you okay so it, it's all balance all of it is balance lots of balance is needed here we have ace of wands Ugh, twin flame energy for sure i mean they're both like 5d you guys are up there getting down you guys are getting bow chicka bow bow chicka boo boo that's what's happening okay but here it's like on this 3d plane it's one of you is like going in for the kill and the other one's like turning the opposite way and then maybe you're going in for the kill and they're turning the opposite way. But they want you to know that this is true love. I want to read this one too because like I said, these all have different meanings and I just want to get some clarity here on these um, Ace of Wands in this particular deck. So let's see what's going on. I told you guys I'm really hyper. I'm in a really goofy mood. This is what happens. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, where the frick is the Ace of Wands? Getting frustrated. There's the Pentacles. I don't want that. There's Wands. Okay, Wands is union. Okay, so the magic of the statues in the fire. Abandon is the surrender of oneself. One loses his own likeness to enter into something much greater. It's interesting. It's like you don't want to lose yourself, but at the same time, it's like your self-sacrifice into the uh, dynamic of the flame with both of you. So it's your soul, their soul, um, understanding that they're one soul because it's so much greater. It's like the bigger picture and this is true love. So this is definitely twin flame. I mean, I'm sorry if I flipped you off there. I did not mean to do that. This is twin flame. This, I mean, this just, it's twin flame. There is no other thing to describe. So this is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, we got, we got the, we got the hook up here. This is, this is what's going down. Okay. So then we have, oh my God, I'm going to rewatch this and be like, I cannot put this up on my YouTube. I should wait to film readings. No, I should wait to drink coffee after I film my readings, but then I can't think straight, right? Then I'm like really tired and I'm not even fun to listen to. At least now, hopefully I'm fun to listen to. I need to stop blabbing. Okay. So we have temperance. This was in reverse, right? Yes. Temperance. So yeah, remember what I said about balance. Like there's not enough balance. We need balance here. I also feel like this is really like, see how she has these flasks and she's turning one into the other. And I feel like one is fire and one is water and you're like mixing both. So this is asking you to get a grip on your masculine energy and your feminine energy and bring a cent center balance into that. <clears throat> these were the factors that are off of balance. So religious factors. Okay. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing bringing and spiritual path. So you guys might have a very spiritual connection, but um, something here is out of balance. So whatever that may be, take that how that resonates. It's, it's, um, it is safe for you to love, okay? So a lot of you might have had a very tumultuous upbringing. Um, I, I feel like a lot of kids kind of had, uh, uh, you know, different situations that they went through through as kids and as a kid you're very impressionable so those things last with you so make sure you're doing your shadow work make sure you're healing things as they come up as you're being called to do so but um what that happened what that does is it leaves people feeling unsafe um and not like secure maybe not safe not trustworthy to love others so this is asking you to open your heart a little bit more to give and receive the highest energy of all so make sure you're keeping an open heart open mind 
Um, and we also have make the effort. There's not enough effort being made here. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a lot of you have probably received messages to like either go towards this person or go off and do your own thing and become sovereign and independent or to leave a person or to leave a situation. You've received these messages over and over and over, but it's in the reverse because you're not taking the steps to do that. So it's asking you to make the effort in doing that and this will bring back balance to the dynamic here we remember we started with keep an open mind in the reverse so your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay so it it might not be like what you thought it would have been so gosh this reading <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm so hyper okay <clears throat> if you couldn't tell <laughs> i'm extremely hyper Okay, I, I want to pull some starseed cards because I do feel there are some higher dimensional messages that are really wanting to come through right now at this time. So I'm using both Rebecca Campbell decks mixed together. They're like sisters, you know, soul sisters, soul sisters. Oh my gosh, there's a little fuzz on my desk and every time I go to brush it off, it keeps flying around. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, I got it. I got it. We got this under control. I'm really hyper. Lifting the veil, oh my gosh, so much is like being unveiled to us on so many dimensional levels and layers and the sun's coming through really bright right now. I don't know if you could see that or tell that, but questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Questioned everything, question everything and anything unaligned must go. Okay, good to know. Oh crap, okay. Ah, I see that flying out there. I'm just going to get a few cards. Whale and Orca. This flew up, uh, so I'll just mention this one. Share your song. Frequency of sound, diving deep. I feel like some of you might be like um, into music. Some of you may like to sing or your other person dies. Um, this could also be receiving messages from the whales, from the dolphins. Like This could be like really opening up to your mission, sharing your voice, sharing your truth, sharing your soul song to the world. Break the chain. Lots of karmic stuff going on here. Lots of karmic stuff. And ancestral healing. This is the ancestral patterns. <laughs> I was just talking with a friend about this. Ancestral patterns. Um, healing and rewriting the future. So, yeah, you're coming out of your cave. You're looking back now and you're seeing everything for what it is. You're seeing, you're lifting the curtains. You're, everything's being unveiled and you're seeing what, you, what shadows you still need to heal, what patterns you still need to heal. And you're rewriting all of this to make way for your new future here. But you're really diving deep. Do you see frequency of sound and then diving deep? Like you're really diving deep and figuring shit out. <clears throat> Excuse my French, but you are. The Great Gathering in the reverse. Mm. It's all coming together, intuitive hits soul tribe. So this is asking you to get your energies right so you can attract, attract the right people in. It's also asking you to um, go to these people for comfort, help, and support. That's why they're there. It's not always you having to support them. Sometimes they need to support you, right? It's an equal exchange. So make sure you're like allowing yourself to receive their support. Make sure you're asking for it and make sure you're getting your energies right. If you haven't come across any members of your soul tribe or you want or you're expecting more because you know like in the future there will be more, it's because you need to heal these things. You need to clear this karma. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, lots of messages. Akasha. Akasha flew on the floor, so we'll read that one first. Your guidance is divinely guided. Okay, so this is a divine connection. And not only that, it's divine because you both are so divine. And you're both receiving messages to kind of do what it is that you need to do at this time. Whether that's with each other or separate from one another. Like you have it's it's letting me know you guys have some healing to do still. Um, and I feel like both of you know this. And I also feel like um, this is all divine. Like it's all divine. All of it. And you feel it and you know it. 
Oh my gosh. Well, you guys, so your divine masculines or divine feminines could be going through an initiation of sorts, an awakening. Um, I feel like this is a big page turner here. I feel like this is like a huge change just around the bend. Um, you're both coming into your power. This is your initiation. So you can be these pillars of light for the world, okay? But you have to do this on your own, both of you, before this union can take place. So your priestess card, or priest card, if you're male, is asking, how are you being called to step up and lead? Okay, because you guys are leaders and you know this innately, or you guys have a mission to do and you know this innately, you need to really get to the nitty gritty of what your soul mission and purpose is. And a lot of the times, if you're not aware of it, like to just be of service to other people um, helps you fall into place with what your mission is because you start doing things that you actually like to do and then you're like helping people or you've gone through things in the past that most people wouldn't have been able to overcome and then that's your ammunition moving forward because then you can help others who are perhaps going through what you have already so then you can help them but I feel like a lot of you are leaders and like teachers and healers and you really need to start experimenting with yourself with your gifts um, whether that's with friends or family members whether that's just on your own by yourself you need to keep practicing and keep exploring <clears throat> so that way you can come into this energy this is an initiation. It's a rite of passage. You're going somewhere very sacred. Okay, so this is a huge like coming into your why you're here. So you can be a pillar of light for the world. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Do you guys see this? Your vibration is rising. Your vibration is rising. <laughs> you are the oracle. You are the oracle. Yeah, you're like, I feel like one of you is awakening. I feel like one of you is realizing and discovering what their true powers are, what their gifts are. You're setting up plans. You're you're now seeing things more clearly. If you're not, you will be. Um, so do not worry. There's a lot and it's all divine. Like it's all divinely guided. So try not to worry because this is already being divinely like planned out for you. Okay, so... Thank you for all the new subscribers. I really wanted to say that. I've gotten so many new subscribers within such a short period of time since doing these twin flame readings and I really enjoy doing them. Um, I, it's just been something that's been really calling to me to do and from spirit for some time. And I used to do them here and there, but I've really been called to step it up and do it more and more, so, which is really interesting. Um, but I am still doing star sea readings, so stay tuned for that. I might do another collective reading today, I'm not sure, but anyways, Without blabbing too much, because I've been blabbing this whole time, thank you for all the new subscribers. Definitely make sure to hit that notification bell so you, you don't miss any more of my videos or updates or anything. Um, yes, and make sure you share this video out if it's something that you liked and you enjoyed or you know someone that's going through one of these twin flame dynamics that could really use the messages from this reading or you feel like you're drawn to share it with them, definitely make sure to do so. And it really helps my channel out a lot. So if you wanted to support my channel, share this video to your communications tab or share it with your friends and family, I'd really appreciate it. Leave a comment below letting me know how things resonated. Give this a like and thank you so much for being here. I love and appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.